The Lord is the strength of his people and the guardian of salvation for his anointed. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Be their guide forever. To you, O Lord, I call. My rock, be not deaf to me. I shall go down to those in the pit if you are silent to me. The Lord is the strength of his people and the guardian of salvation for his anointed. Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Be their guide forever.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We enter into the saving embrace of the living God. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd. You constantly seek out the lost. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are with us always as our advocate and our guide. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. And you are our divine physician who heals our broken dreams, broken hearts, the broken promises. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those who sit firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Job. The Lord addressed Job out of the storm and said, Who shut within doors the sea when it burst forth from the womb, when I made the clouds its garment and thick darkness its swaddling bands? When I set limits for it and fastened the bar of its door and said, Thus far, you shall you come, but no farther, and here shall your proud waves be stilled. The word of the Lord.
Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting, everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, his love is everlasting, everlasting. They who sailed the sea in ships, trading His command raised up a storm wind, which tossed its waves on high. They mounted up to heaven, they sank to the depths, their hearts melted away in their plight. Gave thanks to to the Lord in their distress. From their straits he rescued them. He hushed the storm to a gentle breeze, and the billows of the sea were stilled. Gave thanks to that they were called and he brought them to their desired haven let them give thanks to the lord for his kindness and his wondrous deeds to the children of men give thanks to A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us. Once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on we regard no one according to the flesh. Even if once even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him so no longer. So whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, New things have come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. On that day, as evening drew on, Jesus said to his disciples, let us cross to the other side. Leaving the crowd, they took Jesus with them in the boat, just as he was. And the other boats were with him. A violent squall came up, and waves were breaking over the boat, so that it was really filling up. Jesus was in the stern, asleep on a cushion. They woke Jesus and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up, rebuked the wind, and said to the sea, Quiet, be still. The wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Then Jesus asked them, Why are you terrified? Do you not yet have faith? They were filled with great awe and said one to another, Who is this then? Who, who then is this whom even the wind and sea obey? The good news, the gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. A young boy was driving a hay wagon down the road. It turned over right in front of a farmer's house. Well, the farmer came out and saw that young boy crying and said, well, son, don't worry. We can fix this. But right now, dinner is ready. Why don't you come in and eat with us, and then I'll help you put the hay back in the rack. Well, the boy just said, well, no, I, I can't. My father's going to be very angry with me. Well, the farmer said, well, don't worry. Just come in, have a little lunch. You'll feel better. I'm afraid my father's going to be really angry with me. Well, anyway, the farmer and the young boy went inside, had their dinner, and afterwards, as they walked outside to the hay rack, the farmer said, well, son, don't you feel better now? And the boy said, I do, yes but I still know my father will be very angry with me. And the farmer said, well, nonsense. Where is your father anyway? And the boy said, he's under the pile of hay. <laughs> uh, one morning, a father knocked on his son's bedroom door. He said, Teddy, wake up. I don't want to get up, Papa. Well, the father shouts even more, get up, it's Saturday, you have to go to practice today. And Teddy shouts back, I don't want to go to practice. And why not, says the father. Well, there are three reasons. First, practice is so dull. Second, the kids tease me. And third, I hate practice, especially on Saturday. Well, his father leans against the door and he says, well, I'm going to give you three reasons why you must go to practice. First, because it's your duty as a member of the team. Second, because you're 45 years old. And third, you are the coach. So <laughs> you've you got to get up. Uh, today is Father's Day a day of celebrating those who get up every day in response to the father's knocking. A father, and just like mothers, but today's Father's Day, so focus on the fathers. Being a father then means facing the struggles and difficulties. It means getting up and going to work, even when you'd prefer to just stay in bed. But you know that the family depends upon you, it means then dis disciplining your children so that they may grow up to be mature men and women. And it means constantly looking out for your family, making every effort to ensure that they're being protected. And so we have a Heavenly Father who is your very own. 
God is your Father. You have a claim on Him. And to be as tender and as honest with the living God as you possibly can be. He is your Father. And our Heavenly Father does all this, and He helps fathers here on earth to do the same. You know, I'm listening to the birds chirping all of the time outside, and I think of not a single sparrow falls to the earth without our Heavenly Father's consent. And no father is ever separated from our God's, our Father's loving support and care. And so we too must discipline and encourage. You and I, we too must protect and nurture our young ones. We too must make of his family really a house of love and hopefully a house of prayer. On this Father's Day, it's a good day to remind ourselves that a father really is an essential figure to the family. Who needs fathers these days? I do, you do. Thanks be to God, Pope Francis gave us this year of St. Joseph, where he is our universal father. I mentioned this before, Teresa of Avila, she said, she's never gone or asked St. Joseph anything that he hasn't come to her help. We need our fathers. Pastor Benson has two little kids, Andy, who's five years old, and Charlie, who's four. Benson tries to be a good father to his little boys. Pastor Benson is a handsome young man, even though he is bald as bald can be. Well, one day the whole family is busy preparing to go to a wedding. And so the pastor Benson goes in, shaves himself, and gets himself dressed. Well, he comes out in a few minutes later, and guess what he sees? Little Andy, the five-year-old, has gotten fo- a hold of his father's electric shaver and shaved a big expressway right down the middle of his head. Well, the father, Benson's furious, and he said, Andy, didn't I tell you to never play with my shaver? Now you're going to get a spanking that you'll never forget. He was just about ready to administer that spanking when Andy looks up and he says to his father, wait till you see Charlie, his four-year-old. Well, Benson and his wife were just simply horrified. They go into the bathroom and here is this little four-year-old. He's completely bald. He, he, He got it all, looking like a little skinned rabbit. By this time, the father, Benson, was furious. He clutches Andy, the five-year-old, and says, now you're really going to get it. Just as he lifts his hand and starts to bring it down, Andy looks up at his dad with tears in his eyes and said, but daddy, we were just trying to be like you. Just trying to be like you. Well, Andy did not get a spanking, but instead a big hug. You know, being a father means hearing a child tell you that I love you. Being a father means coming home to a hug after a long day of work. Being a father means the pride that you feel in the accomplishments of your daughters and sons. Being a father means the pride you share in watching them accomplish various things with others. Being a father means choosing to create a life. There's many other things. I'm one of nine kids. I can go into what being a father is. Oh, my poor dad, he suffered. But anybody who's alive is a parent. You know there's going to be good days and bad days. But hopefully you as parents, mothers, fathers, persevere, growing in grace and love through these most difficult times that we live. For our God, he has come to know, hopefully we've come to know that God is our Abba, our Father, our God who keeps his promises. And hopefully our fathers know to keep persevering every day because God is knocking on our door and he does indeed tell us it's time to get up. But Daddy, says little Andy, we want to be just like 
you. We'll stand for our creed, I believe. The Lord indeed hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church in the world, May the Lord protect her from all evil as she testifies to the good news of Jesus Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear For those who have authority over others, may God grant them the grace in leading with understanding and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those who feel burdened by the storms of their life, May the hope of Christ bring them peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all members of Christ the Divine Shepherd Parish, may we embrace the unity of our call as Catholic Christians. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all fathers, may they be guided by the prayers and intercessions of St. Joseph to serve their families in love and devotion. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and dying in this faith community and for those who love them, may God grant them strength. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Suzanne Turba, Helen Dorsak, Mariana Janasak, Phyllis Bartosh, Anita Palmer, Frank Pascalino, and Sarah Bonomo, Bonomo. May they rejoice in the presence of God, in his eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the fathers for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let nothing disturb you, nothing frighten you. All things are passing. God never changes. Patience obtains all things. Nothing is wanting to her who possesses God, for God alone suffices. Here are many prayers on this day, for we make them in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. The second collection is for Divine Mercy Academy. see you open the eyes 
eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. Together we pray that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, our Father, Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, this sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleansed by its action we may make offering of a heart pleasing to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to your Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of morality mortality itself, that the cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Overcome with paschal joy, we sing the hymn of your glory.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, for you are the font of all holiness. Make holy these gifts, we pray. Send down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body, the blood of your Son, our Lord, Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving you thanks, he broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice and again giving you thanks. He gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. story of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ's death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, this bread of life, this chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, that we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, with all the clergy. And remember, our brothers and sisters who have got fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, with all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. It is through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen, amen. We'll sing the Lord's Prayer with a little bit of pace this morning. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace. My peace I give you, look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and grant us the peace, the unity of the kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. I think we're still at a distance or whatever. May the Lord peace. And behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, in the name of the Lord, that you should have drawn our but only say the an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
I shall walk round about his sanctuary, offering a sacrifice of jubilation. I will sing and recite a psalm to the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Whom should I dread? I shall walk round about his sanctuary, offering a sacrifice of jubilation. I will sing and recite a psalm to the Lord. Yeah. 
still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still and know. Be still. Be. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am. Be still St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wicked. God, give him the humble prayer. And do, do thou, thou, O Prince of Heavenly Hosts, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits that prowl about the world seeking <coughs> And let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and the precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that what we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Being Father's Day, the parish has a little gift for all of the men of the parish uh, to honor them on this day. We ask you to be sure to open up your Bible and check out the verse that's, uh, that's uh, on this little gift. 
The Burger Bash will take place in July. July, and we need volunteers to work the event. And if you just check that out in the bulletin. And as of right now, we're going to have Eucharistic adoration, that is, a procession. Um, <laughs> if the Eucharist, that is, the bread of life, the body and blood of the Lord, if that's not Jesus Christ, then bring the wrecking ball in and tear down all the churches. Because all we're doing is just uh, whistling Dixie and blowing smoke that Jesus Christ is in our midst, that the kingdom of God is now. Not the fullness of it, it's like we're all pregnant with God, but it takes nine months, it takes a lifetime. <laughs> when you have an opportunity, and I'm very blessed, I go over to the church late at night, and I think I told you this already, I stand underneath the cross and I talk to Our Lady and say, Hail Holy Queen, and uh, then I go over to the tabernacle and pretty just say, Jesus, you're the bread of life. Help me to never, ever, ever take you for granted. And yeah, with, we can't see it, it's not him standing in front of us, but in another manner, another mode, uh, but very real anyway. So for those who, would, if you have the time, you can join us in a little procession. We're going to just go out and go around the school, so to speak, and come up the hill and be back. But I get it. You know, we all have uh, various things to do. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Oh, son.